Hello, I really love EFT because it's like the Swiss army knife of emotional regulation tools. I've received quite a few questions about how to get the most out of it. So today I'm answering your questions and sharing some tips with you so that you can really get the most out of this amazing healing technique. So the next question is, can I tap and cry without using words? And the answer is yes, you can definitely tap without words. The important thing is just focus on the sensations in your body as you tap. If you find yourself crying, you can gently tap on the points to help process the emotion you're experiencing and bring yourself to a place of calm. So when I cry these days, I always have a little tap while I do it. And what I find is that tapping really helps to shift the emotional charge related to what we're crying about. Does it matter which hand you use and if you switch sides while you're tapping? Well, tapping is a very forgiving modality. You can tap using either hand and you're able to switch sides too. And it doesn't matter whether you tap on the points in the sequence or not. And I've got clients who for one reason or another can't tap all the points or when they're in a trance during a session only manage to tap on one or two points without moving them. So when you tap on the acupressure points, you're sending that calming signal to the areas of the brain associated with fear, such as the amygdala and the hippocampus. And what that means is that the original response is unlikely to be reproduced again, which is great. So as long as you're tapping on an acupressure point, then you are tapping. Whichever hand you use or side of the body you tap on. So what if my arms hurt when I tap? So here are some options for you so that you can still tap without the discomfort. So one of the things that I like to do is imagine tapping on each of the points in your mind. So this is my favorite way of tapping when I'm in bed, because one of the things I really don't like when I'm lying in bed is putting my arms outside the covers, particularly in winter. The other wonderful thing about tapping like this in bed is it helps you to go to sleep it really calms the mental chatter. So the other way is to do finger and wrist tapping. You don't really need much movement to do this. And I've got clients for whom tapping is very effective and all we do is finger tap in the sessions. Other points which are handy are your collarbone. You can just tap on it. And for a lot of people, this is a really powerful point and quite calming to use. So there are other ways, but these are the main ones I tend to use myself and with clients and they're very easy to remember. So what if I can't come up with the words when I want to tap? You don't need to worry about the words. That's really putting you on the spot. The words really only matter if you want to work on something that you aren't feeling at the time. So the words are there to bring up the feelings. But if you're doing tapping on something you're feeling already, then those words don't matter. It's better to focus on the feelings in your body and tap. You'll get the best results doing that. Just while I was editing this video, I got a question come in from MP Stiggs and they ask, what is the best time to use EFT? Is it when we feel a negative emotion or symptoms? That's a great question. So there are three different ways that I used EFT and I get my clients to use EFT. And the first way is really just to calm the body, a bit like a meditation or a mindfulness practice. And I get my clients to do this first thing in the morning and last thing at night. And it is just tapping around the points or on your collarbone or doing finger tapping and taking nice deep belly breaths. The second way is when we experience any negative emotion or symptoms and that can be done in the moment. I'll talk a little bit more about how you use EFT with symptoms later in the video. And then the final way that you can use EFT is kind of setting some time aside for yourself to do some deeper exploration. So this is something that maybe you schedule once a week or twice a week and it's working on something a little bit deeper than what's coming up in the day to day. And what you could cover in a session like this is really infinite. When I work with clients one to one, I will set them a weekly sort of deep dive exercise and they can use EFT with that to start releasing in between sessions. So how do I know what to work on? Tapping is one of those techniques that when you're using it for self-help in your chronic 
illness recovery it really benefits from regular practice so if you use it regularly you're going to find your nervous system will reset and you'll spend more time and rest and repair things that you can work on with EFT are your own feelings so you might be angry or sad about something and tapping can be used to acknowledge and process those emotions so anytime you're feeling strong emotions or anxiety then that's a great time to tap you can tap on symptoms what they are how you feel about them to to break that fear symptom cycle that a lot of people get stuck in i love it because i don't have to take the time out of my day to do the basics with it so i've got plenty of tapping videos on this channel if you want to cover some of the main emotions that impact most people trying to heal a chronic illness at one point or another the main thing is just to experiment and see what works for you I put off using EFT on my own because I was worried about doing something wrong. It's a very forgiving modality. All that aside, one of the easiest things you can do for yourself is to start with tap and breathe. And it works really quickly in the moment without needing to focus on anything. You don't have to quieten your mind like, say, meditation practice. You just tap and breathe and that's it. Another easy way to enjoy EFT is to do it while you're watching TV. You don't have to think about anything. You don't even have to think about breathing and you will get some calming benefits from it. So in this video, I go into a lot more detail about all the ways that EFT can help you in your healing journey. So if you're interested in that, you can watch that next.